Hello everyone, thank you for stopping by today. This is Sandy from Color Creatively. And I found this book this um, last month in December and it was really cool. It's not from Creative Haven, it's from Dover Publications. However, Dover and is the publisher of Creative Haven, but you'll notice it doesn't say Creative Haven here. But it's the same one of their artists, Jessica Mazurkiewicz. I hope I pronounced her name right. It's How to Create Mandalas, How You Can Learn to Do Your Own. And we don't have to be that fantastic. We can do this with certain tools. And there's plenty in here to color, and there's plenty in here to practice on how to draw them. And I like it because the tools are simple and minimal that you need. Um, she shows you step by step by step how to make a circle, how to divide it. There's tips in a block here. Here is how to practice this. This is first step, how you would practice it. Here's some designs that you may want to put inside your mandala. And on she goes, begin to draw your mandala. She goes step by step by step by step. And it's simple mandalas, so that's how we start with baby steps. I bought this book because I would like to try it myself, but at this point I haven't had any time. And I'm hoping maybe in the future to do that. That's why I bought it, because I thought it would be neat to draw my own and then color them. Okay, here again, step by step, there's eight steps to getting your mandala done. Now here are the steps, one through eight, and she gives you this as your template to already start with to draw in, in, in the center. And this is the same here. Here's another one to practice. Now this one is to color. These are to color. These are finished. These are just simple mandalas that can give you ideas to make your own. And to color, these are just to be colored in. Color them here. Uh, completing half the mandala. And then completing, um, she completed half the mandala and you complete the other half. So there's an exercise here to get you step by step. And if you just start at the front of the book and work your way through, hey, folks, we should be able to do this. It's just a matter of drawing straight lines with your ruler or your compass, making circles, and that's it. Um, so I'm sure it takes practice, and that's why she's giving you practice pages. She's done these sections, and she's asking you to fill that in. More practice. And then you can color these. <laughs> you, once you practice, uh, fill them in, you could color them yourself. Okay, here is some that are uh, leaving it for you to complete. And, and learning how to do like a scallop or a heart or different shapes and incorporate those shapes that she showed earlier in the book. Um, here's some more. These are complete mandalas. You could add to them. You could add more stuff in there if you felt like doing it, or you could just color these. Okay, this is part two. And here you go. You can complete the outer ring. She's done the center part for you. So this looks like a very basic, simple book for someone that's never done a mandala before. And I think that if we go step by step, that that would be doable. Um, so that book is from Dover Press. I hope you've enjoyed this flip through. And if you are any way interested in drawing your own mandalas, check this book out. You can buy it on Amazon.com or at DoverPublications.com. Well, I want to say thank you for stopping by, and I hope the flip through has been of interest. And until we meet again, happy coloring.